Welcome to today's video. Today we're at Craig Lake State Park Campground and we'll be doing three nights camping and doing some fishing. So stay tuned for more. Before you get to Craig Lake, you have to first register at Van Riper State Park, which is only a few miles before entering Craig Lake. The road coming into Craig Lake is pretty rough, so I suggest bringing a high clearance vehicle. Once you get to Craig Lake, there is a one-fifth mile portage in to get to the water. Here is a map of Craig Lake State Park. We portaged our kayaks from Site 11 and paddled across the lake to where we camped at Site 20. So we just unloaded the kayaks and started paddling. But the bugs are horrible. I'm. I put on like a uh, like a bug net or whatever for a little while and that helped. But now that it, I'm on the lake, it's a lot better. But yeah, the bugs are terrible at first. But for overall, it's like a perfect day. So I'm really looking forward to uh, getting to the campground and do some fishing. But you can see I got the, uh, um, the backpack and everything great right in the kayak. Everything fits okay. We got a cooler in the back some fishing poles and everything I need. Pretty crammed in here, but works good once I'm in. Almost to the campsite. We're on site number 20 near the end of the lake. It's kind of by Clair Lake. But there's only one picture on the site of the uh, campsite, but it looked nice, so I guess we'll see how it looks. It looks nice from here. Yeah, this is really nice. It's almost like we're on an island. Yeah, it's nice. Besides the bugs, it's perfect. We can sit, put your bug net on. It's great. Yeah, I'll put it back on. Put your bug net on. Is that dark? Oh, how much is that really garbage? No, it's actually clean. Oh, okay. So there's you put two tents there, maybe. Yeah. Maybe a tent here. It's an amazing view. Look at that view. It's probably harder to tell from the camera, but it's amazing. I'm gonna try to use the Sawyer Squeeze water filter. I've never done it before, but we got all of our backpacking stuff, so after paddling, I'm so thirsty, I'm like, I wanna kinda try it. Warm water. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was colder out there. I feel like if we got water from further out, it'd be better. It tastes, it, it tastes like normal water. Yeah. Uh huh. After dinner, we decided to go exploring and do some fishing. The majority of the fish we were catching were smallmouth bass. We heard about a cool suspension bridge that crosses the Pashiki River, so we decided to go check it out. The bridge is nice, hey? Eh?
Okay, so it is day two and uh, we're gonna start doing some hiking today and see how the trails are. We're on campsite 20 right here and we're gonna try to get to this bridge. We were fishing over there last night. We could see the bridge. So we wanna try to hike from here, kinda hike around the lake past campsite two, it looks like, and get to the North Country Trail. From what we've seen is the tra there's lots of trees and stuff down um, along the trails. We uh, looked at like Clear Lake, so we'll see how hard it is. I'll get some videos of it, but I'm gonna try to go from campsite 20 to uh, the North Country Trail over here a little bit. So we'll see how the trails are. Seems like they have some trail markers to follow. So that's kind of nice. So hopefully the trail's pretty easy to follow. After hiking in, after five minutes, the trails were almost impassable from fallen trees that have crossed the trail. So now that we're going down the trail, we're definitely going the right way. It just kind of follows the water. There's still quite a, there's still quite a few trees down, but it's, uh, you can actually see a trail, which makes it way better. So we just hit campsite two, it looks like. I've seen a, see the two marker on the tree. It's a really nice view. Let's see. Oh. Might be hard to camp here. Oh man, no, kayaks would almost be, I think that's what actually, where we just were, that's probably where you put your kayaks for two. Yeah. Nice view, there's our campsite. So we just made it to the Port of Clare Lake. Right along the water. It does veer off coming up here. So we're, we're right there at number two right now. The portage up to Clara Lake. We're not going there. But it stays along the water and then look up here, Cole, it veers way up. Mm -hmm. Then goes to the bridge. How far have we made it versus We haven't went that far. No. We went from there to there. Yeah. And we still gotta get to there. Well, hopefully this is cleared out once. Shortly after the portage to Clare Lake, we decided to turn around because the trails got so bad we couldn't figure out where to go next. Almost all the trails at Craig Lake were impassable because of all the trees that have fallen down. I would not suggest coming to Craig Lake if you are coming for the hiking trails. I would try going to another campground. Overall, Craig Lake is a very nice campground. We had one of the best views I have ever seen. I would rate the campsite a 10 out of 10. The fishing I would rate 7 out of 10. But the hiking trails I would rate a 2 out of 10. One thing you will definitely want to bring is a bug net. They saved us on this trip. Thank you for watching this review on Craig Lake. If you liked our video, please subscribe and check out more of our campground review videos. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below. Thanks for watching.